it is very early in the morning. But I do want to talk to you today about a, a movie that is adapted from a favored children's story. Usually these types of movies are bona fide hits. So much so that they can sometimes attract big stars. And that's exactly what happens in today's lesson. Cinematic class is about to begin and your professor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's lesson plan, which involves the movie Storm Boy. Now, many of you may sit back and go, Storm Boy, that doesn't sound familiar to me. That's because it is a favorite children's tale in Australia. And apparently it's something that uh, Australian uh, uh, children are introduced to during their elementary uh, grade school years. Uh, and it's a, a story that kind of evolves around, you know, nature and a uh, little boy and his pet pelican. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> one of those types of tales. But, you know, it's endearing enough that it attracted the attention of Jeffrey Rush, who not only has a, a part in this movie, but also served as executive producer and helping bring it to the screen. So what do we basically have here with Storm Boy? What we have is a story that would fit very well into the Disney stable. Because if you follow typical Disney uh, uh, animal movies, like, you know, Old Yeller, they, they follow a certain formula, and Storm Boy certainly uh, goes in with it. Now, this is actually a remake, because I believe the first version of Storm Boy for movies was made in, I want to say, 1976. Uh, maybe a little fuzzy on that, but <clears throat> so it's been a while since it's been rebooted. And this reboot now has elements of uh, environmentalism in it, you know, global warming and all that happy uh, to do. So they have to stick a little bit of the agenda in there. But basically, it's a story about a boy who. Uh, uh, finds three little pelican uh, chicklings and uh, raises them and takes care of them uh, when their mother is, is killed, uh, their parents are killed. And uh, the one pelican in particular takes a liking to him and seems to have human characteristics in that it understands the little boy and can help him in times of need. And uh, therein lies, the story evolves all around that. It's a cute little story. I think people who like animals and folks who a uh, little kids you know uh, really appreciate things like this so for family entertainment this movie will serve you very well i there is one uh, scene that really kind of gnawed at me the wrong way the the pelican has to uh, you know be some kind of hero most lassie you know rin tin tin all, all these animals somehow become you know heroic in some way for uh, form but since we americans tend to favor dogs to do this i guess the australians like pelicans so in, in any event uh they have <laughs> they have a scene where the uh the boy's father is is uh, tipped over the boat during a very violent storm while he's out fishing and he's struggling and uh, they use the pelican to kind of get him a, a lifeline there's one problem with the whole sequence They've used stock footage to show pictures of a storm, and it's it's a raging storm that they use. Massive waves and lightning and thunder. Uh, the trouble is when they actually shot the scene, it looked like it was a pretty nice day on the beaches of South Australia. <laughs> so, so you get cut from these, you know, dark, gloomy, lightning bolt, high wave scenes to uh, what looks like a wave pool. <laughs> Okay, kind of, look, and a guy kind of flopping around in it. It's it's yeah, it's a little noticeable. Let's put it that way. And it kind of you get the gist of the story, but it it really takes away from the sight of it. If you have little kids, especially little kids that like animals, and if you yourself are an animal lover and just like children's stories of this ilk, this movie will do you well. It is called Storm Boy. Now that you have learned what you have learned. Here ended your lesson.